Hey guys, it's Clay with Minute Ministry. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the differences between a cow and a buffalo. So out in Colorado where they have big mountains, they also have buffalo and they have cows all in these same spots. They have long, huge areas um, where the flatlands, you know, because you have the mountains on one side and as you go out, you start to see all these flatlands um, away from the mountains. And this is where buffaloes and cows both live in the same spot. And so if you have a buffalo and a cow, they kind of do a lot of the same things. You know, they kind of herd around together. They eat grass. They eat the, you know, like whatever kind of wildlife, you know, like grassy things that there are there. And But whenever you see the biggest difference between them, not just in their size and look, but whenever you look at their mindset, if a storm comes over, the Rocky Mountains. And like I said, there's, you know, the mountains in the backdrop, and then all of a sudden you see this storm coming over. So it can come on you pretty quick. And so if you have this storm coming and, you know, lightning and thunder, um, as you look, the cow is going to run away from the storm. Um, and, you know, because it's scared of it, it's got lightning, it's got thunder, it's got loud noises, it's going to run away from the storm. The buffalo, though, is not going to run away from the storm. The buffalo is actually going to run towards the storm. Now, this major difference is a lot about how they see the thing that they fear. And so, you know, a cow actually running away from the storm is also running with the storm. And so when this storm, because cows can't run very fast, when this storm comes and catches up with the cow, the cow is still going to run in what it perceives as the direction away from the storm. And it actually stays in the storm longer because it is running away from it as it's in it. And so it's running with the storm, staying in, lightning and thunder is around for a longer period of time. The buffalo, however, because it doesn't it doesn't run away from the thing that it's afraid of. It runs towards the thing that it's afraid of. Actually, as the storm comes in, the storm goes by really fast, and the buffalo is running towards it, limiting the amount of time that it actually spends in the storm. Uh, it's actually extremely smart. It's in the less, least amount of time. There's not an animal in this story that kind of sits in one spot, but that buffalo spends less time in the storm than somebody that would sit in one spot. And so it kind of makes makes me think about how you know God's kind of God says that you know like if uh, uh, you you know love perfect love cast out all fear, and so you know like whenever we respond in in fear, then you know it's like the cow that's running away from the storm, and that storm is going to catch us if we keep on running away from the thing that we're afraid of. It's going to catch us. Just ask Jonah. But if we run towards the thing that scares us, right? We don't let fear control us. We let love control us. And so we run towards the thing with the full love, you know, the thing that God is bringing out. Even though we're afraid, even though we're scared, we run towards it anyway. And we limit the amount of time that we spend in that storm. And we come out on the other side and we're all right. Um, so just some thought for you today. Are you running away from your storm? And, you know, making it longer, maybe being like Jonah and ending up now in a belly of the whale in a worse spot. Or are you, do you have the mindset that it takes to run towards the storm, to run towards what it is that you're afraid of? Uh, show me a cliff and I'll jump off of it. Um, or do you have that mindset? And you, do you realize that having that mindset and that mindset of, you know, not letting fear control you, but love control you, perfect love, casting out all fear, that it's going to draw you closer to God. So thanks for taking a minute, guys. I'm going to uh, be bringing out some news updates in the next couple videos. Uh, so be checking that out as well. Have a great week.